All right, there's the piece from the sprayer Doug welded. He threw some black paint on it after he welded. I didn't have any red, so in my pile of cans of paint up there, but I had this kind of Alice Chalmers orange. It looks beautiful. So we're gonna put that on. It's not a heavy rain, but it's a light rain today. So it's Friday, June 16th. <clears throat> this past Monday, we got 1.8, or excuse me, 1.5 inches of rain. Wednesday, we got 1.3 inches of rain. And then whatever we're gonna end up with today, if we get a quarter of an inch, that's probably a lot. So we've had 2.8 inches of rain this week. Like I said, it's June 16th, so middle of June. We are still, according to the drought monitor, in the abnormally dry, but obviously 2.8 inches of rain helps dramatically. So, but we had 1.05 for the whole month of May, so that's why we're still in it, according to the monitor. But, so anyways, yes, this hose got a pinhole in it, which I think was from vibrating from that being you know, broke when it was there when I finished up spraying the last of the corn. So that hose is on order. Should be in today or Monday. Well, probably won't be Monday because Monday's Juneteenth, a new holiday, you know. So who knows who takes it off and who doesn't. But whatever, not getting into that. So, but I won't be spraying beans for probably a week. I mean, you can see they're... They're really starting to show good now in the rows, but, and the weeds aren't out of control yet. They're starting to get weedy, but the biggest thing I need to get doing, and it's supposed to, it looks like after today, there's a slight chance tomorrow, but then it looks like five, six days in a row of good. That's what I got to start pounding on as soon as I can get back on the ground. So anyways, I got to put this back together. Look, it's the grumpy farmer in the rain. Oh my goodness, that was rude. Despite popular belief, he does not melt in the rain, like the Wicked Witch. According to Upstate New York Bill on, on uh, Jeff's channel, The One Happy Farmer, Jeff treats his wife like a queen and I treat you like an employee. He's just mad because you booted him a couple years ago. <laughs> employee he truly doesn't know me, <coughs> know me at all so this is what we're doing did you tell him we just fixed the prayer no, i didn't tell him anything except that you weren't <laughs> melting in the it's rain it's done now so now this is what we're doing you got it backwards oh well oh actually it does work that way yeah sorry my bad i'm hanging up my new flag that barb and chelsea got me for my birthday mm -hmm. my second amendment flag all right, turn it off, employees, so we can figure out where we want it. Yes, sir. All right, we're putting up our flag. Oh, God, you're going to kill me trying we're, to we're, we're, we're using the John Deere ladder. We had to move a few things to be able to get close enough. Not using screws, we're just putting nails in on the top because that's where the purlins are for the tin, anyhow. So that one you want to pull as tight as you can, and, and look it at that. It's right up with that screw. All right, so I guess I'm getting the screw gun. So turning you off for a minute because that one lines up perfect with the screw. I got to get the screw gun out. Cleaning up our mess from spring while we're here. Look, okay, it's up. I'm going to zoom in for any of you in the comments to say, well, the bottom sags a little. You can go do what you know to yourself. So, second, a well second Amendment, a well-regulated militia being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. Yeah. So... That's where you can go, buddy, who wants to try to infringe us. Exactly. So we now have three flags in here. We have the one everybody loves when I show it. 
Everybody should love that one. You know, we need to have one for New York State that says and you, something about uh, Canadian neighbors also. like this one that somebody sent to me. Yes, I can't remember everybody's names. I can't remember who sent that to me. Remind me in the comments, but I think that's a cool flag because most of you Canadians agree with us. Our governments are trying to screw us over. But So that's as good as it's going to be. Anybody that wants to complain that it doesn't look straight? You can drive here and fix it. Yeah, you know our address. Because number one, we started with the ladder over there. Well, with that my bench so well. and the light thing, that didn't work so that well. Sketchy. So we brought the loader tractor in and did it. I was standing on the bench trying to hold, get things straight and taunt for her while she was putting in the screws and nails. And then I put the bottom nail in there. And yes, it's pulled down a little, but you can deal with it. So. It There's looks good. There's no such thing as perfection. That's right. There's no such thing as perfection. Remember, we show you the good, the bad, and the ugly. All right. So my employee is Bill Calzer. Yeah, Bill's one of them dicks. That... Never mind. Those of you who know, you know, because you were here for the last three years that we've been doing this, three and a half. So I think it was a year, year and a half ago where we had to say bye to Bill, but... Anyways, my employee hooked me back up to the wagon. Now she's gone to the house because we're having chicken quesadillas for lunch. Because it's just about noon now. Got the sprayer fixed. She helped me do that because it was just the most awkward having to be on the bolt and the, the, the nut. And it just, it was so much easier having somebody else hold a wrench on the bolt head while I was tightening the nuts. Plus, they were lock nuts, so they went fairly hard the whole way. But, so anyway, I'm just going to hold on to this, and in a couple of days, hopefully, two, three days, I get back on doing anhydrous, I'll start filming again. So, just wanted to show you that, because I think that's cool. Like I said, Barb and Chelsea got it for me. So now we got that, and my signs that... Jeffrey Hahn sent me, you, the are you getting it yet, and you be you, and I'll be me. Of course, like I said, we got the fan favorite, and I do like that one. So July 6th, the service manager called me. July 6th, they're supposed to be coming for those issues with the software and all that, to go through this with the issues that we've got, and the new issue of a gearbox obviously leaking so glad i moved this to here because yeah you might see it back there on the stones but you wouldn't see it like that to pop out to you so but and i got this cleaned up a little bit so all right so one more thing then i'm like i said i'm done might be two three days from now until you i finish this video when i can get back in the fields but so we try and put out a video every four days all right. I'm going to also say that June 30th is our next live stream, Jim and my. I think this should be out by then. Today's June 16th. But that's my point of saying this part. Okay, today's June 16th. There is a video ready to come out in a couple of days. So this one would probably be like six days from now or something. Six, seven days. Whatever, four days after that one would be. For those that still say, well, your timeline doesn't make sense. I just got this notification today, but yet you said in the video it was June 16th. You're getting the video. So if you get this one on June 22nd, let's say. I don't know if that's the date. I'm just saying it. Yes, the stuff that happened happened before June 22nd. I'm not the guy who's filming every day, putting out daily videos. Because sometimes it sucks carrying this thing around. And she does all the work of editing everything. So I think I should film something. Boom, I turn it on, I film it. I turn it back off. Two hours later, I might think there's something I should film. Boom, I turn the camera on, I film it, I turn it back off. She melts it all together. When you see like the drilling beans, you know, and the color packer footage and all that, I got to walk out there put it on the magnet, turn it on, walk back to the tractor, get started. Nobody wants to see my fat ass walking back and forth to turn it on, turn it off. So she has to melt all that together and do away with that stuff and whatnot. So 
that's why we don't do videos every day it just ain't happening so all right we'll probably see you in two or three days all right i'm with my two favorite people kathy and derek at mad moose don't know what he's making but the machine's going back and forth back and forth all right so i'll show you these to start with because michael brash when he stopped to visit made jimmy and i friday live you know this this is how it's supposed to be but then of course michael being michael had to have him make a couple with you know kubota so yeah we'll see what we do with those michael but anyways we have a new design it is not on the site yet see look she's laughing i repeat it is not on the site yet do not call, do not email, do not ask for this until you see it on the site. But I think it's cool. This can go on sweatshirts too, right? Yes. So it can go on t-shirts or sweatshirts. So we put the combine. What do you all think of that? I think it's cool. No, I'm not gonna put it on right now, but that's our new design. Plus you can still get the old designs. So I'm not even asking her when she's putting it on. When you see it, it'll be there. Because I'm not getting yelled at. All right. This is Derek's mess, by the way, not hers, right? It's your fault. Sure. <laughs> <coughs> so anyways, just want to mention, as you can see, we don't have, you know, shelves piled somewhere. I should say they, not me, we, of our stuff. So when you order, it is custom made. In other words, you order... I told her I wanted an extra large shirt. So this is my shirt made for me, because I always get the first one. Extra large, right? Yeah. Yes, extra large. Therefore, if you order something and you screw up, it's not on them <laughs> to send you the right thing for free and take back the one that you had and like that. So make sure you order correctly when you order. That's all I want to say, because there has been not a lot, but a few minor issues in that category. <clears throat> no pride flag today. Not in that tractor. Doing anhydrous. As you can see. The old napalm, as I like to call it. As you can tell over there, we're bringing up plenty of moisture, obviously. Between the rows, because we had three inches of rain last week 1.5 on monday 1.3 on wednesday 0.2 on friday today is monday june 19th but it's sealing good yes i'm burying the knives you know in pretty good to make sure it seals but it's doing a good job am i saying it's sealing 100 percent everywhere no because you run into the occasional spot in some low areas that you know it's still a little moist you chew a little and if you look back behind the applicator you can see every now and then a puff come up but and we also have rocks so when a knife hits a rock it puffs but you gotta get going because as you can see the corn's getting to be pretty decent size all right gotta turn like right here on this knoll you can still see where it's a little shorter than what it is down in the valleys because it was needing rain bad so and no jeff i'm not going to complain about that three inches of rain you will not hear me complain because mother nature can shut it right back off in july and i feel bad for you and the rest of the farmers out there who aren't getting anything but unfortunately it's the one thing we can't control so all right for those that will ask the question because i know nelson did last year you run over corn on the headlands when you turn. Yes, I do. If the corn is still supple enough, we'll call it, the sunlight, you know, it'll eventually stand back up some of it. If it's big enough, which this is getting, this isn't quite big enough where the stalks are brittle. If they break off, no, they won't stand back up. But for what little bit you run over on the headlands turning, the benefit of doing this far outweighs that so yeah you can see right here this gravelly spot how much shorter the corn is but so we're gonna need 
in a week, more rain. We're just we're gonna need consistent rain, something that a lot of you aren't getting, unfortunately. I'm gonna have to go and fill my applicator pretty quick here. I'm getting down because I did that field over there, the other side of the bean field. I finished it. I had done part of it before you know, a week ago before we got all the rain. So I finished that one and now I'm on this one. So anhydrous. I need to get spraying beans too because they're starting to get a little ugly looking. But, so this is how I do anhydrous. I knife it post plant like this between the rows every other row eight row applicator 5.2 miles an hour 150 pounds it's 82 percent actual so you're putting on 132 pounds roughly so i'm not saying this is the right way to do it because anhydrous is put on lots of different ways this is always the way i've done it i know out west they still do a lot of fall putting it on the fall that wouldn't work so good here with our winters, in my opinion. You'd have a lot of leaching. Guys around here, some of them go out and knife it, then till the ground. Some of them tow tanks behind their chisel plows, do it that way. To each their own, you know my saying? You be you, I'll be me. So this is how I've always done it. I like to do it this way, because with the moisture that we've had, it's supposed to be beautiful all week in the 80s chance of rain again next week or next weekend this corn might double in, a, in size in a week's time like I said I like doing this because I feel like I'm putting it right to it when the corn needs it or you know is asking for some nitrogen so maybe I'll like I said it's June 19th if I'm doing a video a week from now if I think of it because I don't always think of these things I'll come back out and show you what this field looks like and see how much closer to canopy it is but you can see here on the knolls it's you know it don't look bad at all I'll take this but it's shorter up here than it is when you get down into the, the lower spots because of how dry we were but I'll take the way the corn looks right now because I think it looks damn good really good Hopefully we just keep getting more rains when we need them. Dust plot looks pretty good. A little grassy right there, but there was some water standing after the three inches of rain. I'm going to this big field here, this long one. You can tell looking up there on that knoll what I'm talking about, where you can see from here, you know. I mean, the corn's there. It's just short. I showed you that in that one spray video. All right, so the good, the bad, the ugly. Yeah, these knolls are the ugly. But if you look hard, most all of the corn is there. Is there some spots where it didn't come up? Yes, a few. But most of it is there. Yes, it's short. It's obviously you know the color looks decent so it's obviously coming on after three inches of rain in a week so that spot's just going to be behind the rest of it you know it's not a big enough spot on these knolls to make a huge difference come harvest but but yeah i mean you can see down through here these heavier knolls stonier knolls corn is definitely shorter doesn't look bad, but definitely shorter. See the same thing over there. Basically that knoll is the one I just went over, is the one that I showed you as I was coming to the field. So it kind of looked bare from a distance, but it's not bare. It's just didn't have enough moisture to get its ass in motion in plain English. After three inches, its ass is now in motion. So yeah. All right, it's 2.30. I could have went down and filled the applicator off of the other full nurse tank that's down there. Me and this nurse tank's empty. It needs to be filled anyhow. So I thought I'd fill it just to show you. All right, for this, for you non-farmers, obviously. 
You got your two big pipes to come out. This is your main fill pipe and hose. I'm now filling this. That's your pump. Vacuum lines. Yes. Some of you may comment that have worked with this stuff. You do the old bleed valve way of filling and whatnot, which there's bleed valves, you know, here and on the nurse or on the applicator and whatnot. Yeah, we don't bleed valve. So I know some people still do that, but I'd rather have the pump. Takes probably. I don't know, it only takes me about 15 minutes to fill the the uh, applicator. It probably takes me half an hour to fill each nurse tank. Yeah, I'm about an hour, a little over, when I have to fill them both, when they're both empty. But I've done, I don't know, like 40 acres. I have my golf league later, so. That's why I figured I'd fill this up now. That way it's full for tomorrow. I'll probably fill the applicator up. If I have time, I'll go do a little more. I'll finish the field I was in. If I don't, I don't. But, like I said, it's a little after 2.30. All right, well, I'm sitting here waiting for that to fill. You're going to get your one more thing. So, when I just went out and blew off that applicator full, I don't know what it took me, hour and 10 minutes, hour and 15 minutes. While I was here before filling it, I cleared my phone of all my Instagram messages of which just going to be honest I didn't look at any of them I just pushed your name and scrolled so that you know the little Instagram icon didn't read a million like it normally does so in that hour a little over hour that I was gone I get back here and you know there's my phone I've got 10 more already Okay, so I know I've pissed a few people off lately, Linda, but for fuck's sakes, do you, do some of you live for that right there? Do you just have your phone in your face all day or a computer or something? Go outside, get some sunshine, get a hobby, do something. I don't mind people sending me some stuff once in a while on Instagram. But holy shit, if you've sent me 10 things today, okay, you can stop because you're one of many who sent me 5, 10, 20 things on Instagram. I mean, it's, it's insane sometimes. It really is. Uh, like yesterday, Father's Day. Okay, I figured it was too wet to start trying anhydrous again, so... I put up an Instagram post, Chelsea and I went and had a little daddy-daughter day playing golf. Well, okay, I put the post out. I knew people would comment, that's fine. But it's like we're on the golf course and all of a sudden, it was like a trigger. Okay, he's not working. Bombard him with all the videos we wanna send him. I mean, my phone's dinging, dinging, dinging. Chelsea's like, my God, Dad, you get a lot of Instagram shit. I'm spending the day with my daughter for Father's Day, and you think you feel, I mean, if you saw that post, you then feel the need to send me five videos that most of the time I don't give a shit about a lot of them. So I don't care if you're pissed off. I'm about ready to say fuck Instagram and just get off of it. And I can tell you this, I can take or leave this whole YouTube thing. Because we're not doing it for the money. As you've noticed, you don't see the little ads. You don't see me. Sure, I've done my little reviews on some of the shit they've sent me that actually has to do with I could use on the farm, like the little saws and, oh, what else? The grease gun ends and all that. But I'm not pushing every other fucking thing like some of these YouTubers do. You know, like the one who just moved to New York to be a New York farmer. So... My wife and I laughed this morning because I had an email from Yaka, Yakamoto, Kiawa Yakamoto, I don't even know what it was, Japanese for uh, kitchen knives. Oh yeah, Grumpy Farmer, just saw your latest video. It was great. We figured you'd be a great fit for our kitchen knives. Are you fucking kidding me? 
kitchen knives, yeah. But we know there's some people that would be pumping those kitchen knives if there was some dollar signs behind it. So, yeah, I'm fucking grumpy today. And now I'm done. You're not gonna get a second more thing, trust me. Actually, I lied. You are gonna get a second more thing. All right, I've calmed down a little, but here's what I'm gonna say. I've enjoyed interacting with all of you, and I always say meeting you, even though we've never met. You know what I mean, meeting you through here, through social media. Instagram gets a little stupid sometimes. I'm just gonna say, so some of you back off. But show me some other YouTube channels where the person actually takes the time to try and comment back to you and reads every one of your comments. All right, maybe you'll comment on a video three days later so then I don't know it because I don't get a notification for it or something and I don't comment back, don't like it, whatever. I didn't know it happened. But I gotta believe 99, 95% of you at least can say, I've liked one of your comments. I've commented back to you probably a lot more than just once. Show me the other ones that do that. So, you know, like the, the new New York farmer, but he's busy guy, so he doesn't have time to comment. I'm apparently, I'm not busy. I have all the time in the world to comment. I'll just leave it all at that.